guys, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Generation. So in the last part, we gave birth to baby Maverick, which of course is the child of Iris and Sebastian. And we also went ahead and aged up Nadia into a teenager and Cecilia into a child. I did go ahead and give them makeovers. So Cecilia is hanging out over here. And let me see. Nadia, who by the way is freaking... like. Why is she so gorgeous? She, look at his face. He's like, God, she's a teenager. Like, look at her, guys. She's stunning. Those are really creepy eyes that she's doing. I don't know what, she's watching a video on her phone, I think. Girl, stop being weird. Can you give me a normal face? Cause you look actually terrifying. Like you want to eat someone. Put the phone down, sweetheart. There we go. But guys, look at her. She is beautiful. Why? Do Oliver and Charlie make such beautiful babies? Like, oh my goodness, this child is stunning. So yeah, I gave her a little bit of a makeover. She's in her sleepwear currently, but yeah, she's she's definitely something. She's definitely something. I'm just having Iris spend a little bit of time with Maverick, giving him a bottle and just some loving. And at nine o'clock, so in about an hour, we're gonna ask Sebastian if he would like to go out on I don't know if it's going to be necessarily a date, but if he would like to go out somewhere, I should say. So we're going to invite him out to like, the, girl, where, put, put the baby back, put, put, the, put the baby back. There you go. Also, I am going to go ahead and turn off rain. Um, I actually updated my graphics card a couple of days ago and I forgot that The Sims 3 is dumb when it comes to updating my graphics card. I think I mentioned this in the last part of the generations, but it's super annoying because now I have to go in and change the program file so that it recognizes my graphics card and I just don't feel like doing that right now. So I'm going to try to record through the lag. So I apologize if the lag is really bad. I'm sorry. I just don't have time right now to, um, what? Malachi is apparently playing the piano. Boo boo, you go. Um, but I don't have time right now to go through and update and everything. So make sure all of our pets are nice and fed. You go ahead and do that. Iris, do you want to go ahead and change clothes, honey? Change outfit into your everyday wear. So that we can go ahead and ask him to hang out with us. Oh my gosh, guys, look at these pictures. Oh my gosh. This is like, a, this is the family picture from so long ago. We definitely have to get an updated one. We have her prom picture when she was standing sideways, not even looking at the camera. We have her other prom picture. Oh my gosh, guys, the feels, the feels. And she has like her tiara. This is from, this is from when she was a child and she was in ballet. Like, oh my gosh, this is actually insane. So let's go ahead and call him up. We're going to invite him out. And where was that? Where was it? I think it was the karaoke bar, right? I think it was the karaoke bar. Where was that again? Club Privé. It wasn't that. Um, it might not even be open right now. Oh, it's right here. Karaoke bar. All right. So let's go ask him if he wants to go there. See if he's off work just yet. He should be. I'm not, he might be super tired, so we might have to wait till tomorrow. But we'll kind of see how he's feeling. Yeah, he's probably super tired. I'm not too fussed about that. If anything, we could always go to his house. I'll wait a little bit longer and see if maybe he's at his house or something. We can go chat with him then. I don't even know where he lives. I actually have no idea where he lives. I probably should know that. But I have no idea. Oh, right here. Okay. Let's go visit this house. Apparently, he lives in a... Is this a town home? Oh, yeah. He's just getting home from work. Yeah, he's probably tired. Apparently, he lives here in a townhome, which the townhomes in this game are really cute. Like, they're really, really cute. But we're going to come over here and visit him. We're going to kind of stalk him a little bit because we need we need to talk. We need to talk. And you guys literally, like, smashed the comment section in the last part. Like, oh, my goodness. And it's funny because a lot of you guys were actually saying relatively the same thing, which I thought was really interesting. When it comes to Iris and Sebastian and Shane and all of that. So I thought it was extremely interesting that you guys all had similar ideas as to what we should be doing and stuff. So, oh, is it cold out? Oh, yeah, it's fall. Duh. Okay. Oh, I think he's going out. Hey, you. Let's go ahead and greet him. Oh, wait. What is it doing? Be oh, be oh, he was coming to invite us inside. Oh, I didn't realize. 
Okay, well now they're gonna do this dance around the stairs. How's it going? Remember me? I just kind of had your baby a couple hours ago. <laughs> Actually, it was this morning. Uh, whatever. Let's go ahead and go inside. And I don't know. Oh, there's no furniture in this house. Oh, there's no furniture down here. There's boxes. Did he just like move in or something? There's a crib up there as well. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be friendly. I guess we'll compliment his home. There's not really much in here. Oh my god, guys, look. She literally sees him and wants to woohoo with him. Like, girl, this is what got you in your little predicament in the first place. Um, let's see. What should we do? I feel like we need to let's go ahead and share a secret. And I feel like, is there like a my computer is talking about the cold. No, that's not really what I want. Special. No. Excitable. It's not really what I was thinking, I guess. I guess we can brighten up his day as well. Sure. But, like, the fact that she sees him and she wants to jump his bones. Like, if you guys have noticed, it's been more of all the stuff she's wanted is, oh, my God. Iris. Oh my god, guys. She's in love with him. Iris, honey. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? I didn't think she loved him. Oh god. Iris. I literally have no idea what we're supposed to do right now. Like, I have no idea. Uh-huh. Like, she literally just confessed how she feels to him. <gasps> what? That's awkward. <laughs> That's super awkward. Joseph Overton is Leo Overton's kid, which is Charlie's ex-boyfriend, who cheated on her, who is Iris's dad. That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. How? No, that's weird. But, <sighs> I don't, guys, what do I do? Like, this freaking girl... I just, I, like, the way she looks at him, like, I don't know, like, the way he looks at her, I mean, maybe he truly does love her, because look at him. Like, would he look at any girl like that? I don't know. Did he look at his wife like that? I don't really know. And a lot of you guys were saying it's kind of strange that, you know, we just kind of say, hey, leave your wife. And he's like, OK. So I'm not sure if it's because their relationship with his wife was bad. I don't know if it's because he was just looking for a way to leave her. I don't know if it's because he just jumps between relationships or if it's because he truly loves Iris. And it this is difficult. This is difficult. I, I'm kind of trying to wait and see what. <gasps> is that his wife? Guys? Guys? Is that his wife? <gasps> Was that her? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this was a bad idea. Oh, my. She. It, oh, she hates us. She hates us. This is his ex-wife. I didn't know they still live together. I mean, they just broke up a couple hours ago, so I guess it makes sense. But this is awkward. Like, she literally sees... Oh, God. This is... This is awkward. I... I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, my gosh. She's just going to go upstairs. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's literally our enemy. The presence of garbage would, prefer, would be preferred to that of a hated enemy. What? Oh, my God. Iris, I just... They're going to watch the stars, apparently. I just... I have no words. Does he have a kid with her? I actually want to look. Oh, right. I think I looked in the last part. Yeah, so we're his only... Like... Not us, but Maverick is his only kid. Oh my god, guys. What do I do? We should probably leave. It's kind of awkward for us to stay here. And she's hungry. What if we go get some food? There's a little diner right across the street. So why don't we go ahead and eat here with him? Maybe they can have a talk with some coffee or something. But the fact that we came here to have a chat with him and the first thing she blurts out is, I love you. I just... I 
don't know what to do. I, I didn't realize that. I mean, I knew she cared about him. I mean, obviously, like they've been through a lot, and she was a, kind of into him when they were teenagers. But I just, I didn't know that she loved him. I had no idea. And the fact that she just blurted it out like that, like, <sighs> Iris. Oh, Iris. So I'm gonna let her go ahead and eat. I'm gonna check in with the family. Oh God, they're wanting to bang too. Jesus. You guys are a little too old to keep doing that. I mean, you're going to break a hip or kill each other or something. Where are you? Honey, why don't you go to bed? Why aren't, why aren't you sleeping? Where's your bed again? Oh, I have to get... Oh, I have to fix this. I have to get the girls' double beds. Okay, let me do that real quick before I forget. Let me go grab the girls' double beds because I forgot that I need that. So they're going to share a room. So we're going to grab a bed. Where's the double? Where's the comfy double bed? Uh, is it this one? Is this the comfy one? I think so. Let's do the lighter color. Throw that in here. Right there. And then I'll change that. I feel like Cecilia would probably want the top bunk, so I'll probably give her the top bunk. Um, as far as... That's actually really cute for her. So that's cute for Nadia. And then Cecilia, I'll give like a cute themed one, maybe. Maybe the pink. How does the pink look? Although the wallpaper is pink, so we probably shouldn't do pink. Although that's really cute. Uh, do I have any like, abstract? Oh, we could do flowers. Flowers is cute. Should we do the bigger flowers? Let's do the bigger flowers. No, mm, actually, I like the small ones. We we'll do that. That should be good. So at least now she has somewhere to sleep. <laughs> I am so sorry, girls. So you're going to get the bottom bunk. You get the top bunk. Um, who are we missing? Oh, where are you? No, get out of your sister's bed. <laughs> it's because she's into that bed. It, yeah, once everybody moves, they'll be fine. So go to sleep over here. Get out of your sister's bed. You need to go to bed. Everybody needs to go to bed. Turn off that. Honey, you got to get up, sweetie. Because you're in your brother's bed. Okay, there. Everybody should be in their respective bed in just a second. I know your sister was in your bed. I know. Calm down, kid. Calm down. Where are you guys? All right. Everybody seems to be asleep. Animals. What? Uh, I'll go back to that later. Oh, my God. It's one in the morning. I didn't even realize. <laughs> it's one in the morning. Okay, so it looks like Vera has married. Someone had mentioned this. I don't know how this would affect us necessarily. Because Vera is married to our... Hmm, let me think of the family tree real quick. Because this is confusing. I just... I want to look at this real quick. So, where is you? Okay. So, Vera is his sister who is married to Bernardo, who is our half-brother? I'm so confused. So how does that affect us? I mean, I'm sure they're related by marriage in some way, but in this, it's The Sims. I'm going to let it slide a little bit. I know it might be kind of gross because in some weird way they're related. I just don't officially know how. I think they're cousins or like, I don't know. Would they be step-cousins? I'm not sure. Either way, I think they would technically be cousins, which would make the, yeah. So it, it's a huge cluster. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. We're just going to let it slide. They're probably, it's The Sims 3 and with story progression, they're probably not going to be married all that long. Let's be real. Oh God, this is still here. Iris, I can't believe she said that. I honestly can't believe her. Like what? God, girl. And she... All right, so they are done with food. Good, good. You know, she's super tired, which was to be expected. Did he, is he coming? Oh, there he is, okay. No, 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 hold on. Uh, let's go ahead, oh, I can't chat with him yet. Girl, stop. Okay, so do you friendly, um, I don't wanna to confess to watching you sleep. I feel like that's kind of creepy. Let's go ahead and invite him over. I mean, I would think he'd want to see his child, but we'll invite him over. This part definitely took a turn I was not expecting. 
I was definitely not expecting this. Like, it's funny because some of you guys are still Team Shane. There's a couple that are Team Sebastian, funny enough. And then there are a majority of you who are like, you know what? She doesn't need to be with either of them. Which, you know, fair enough. Like, <laughs> she's been through a lot. But we're going to go and head home in our brother's car. I really need to find her car. <laughs> I think someone probably has it in their inventory. I just keep forgetting to look to see who has it. We're going to head home. They're both super tired. Oh, God, Jasper. I forgot his grave was out there. That hurts my soul. R.I.P. Jasper. <laughs> my baby. Um, let's go ahead and woohoo with Sebastian because she wants to. As you can see, I only have her woohoo because she wants to. I'm not having her do it just to do it. So go ahead and go inside. I don't know if he's going to stay over or what. I don't really care if he does, but... We are going to spend yet another night with him. What's the matter, Snowy? You hanging out down there, little fellow? Oh my god, I hear our baby crying. That's awkward. That is awkward. That our child is upstairs screaming. We'll take care of him in just a minute. But yep, they're going to go upstairs. And I mean, I guess her confessing her love for him kind of brought the hots back on so they're gonna go get it on again i just uh, i'm sorry maverick hold on sweet pea hey at least it's your mom and dad <laughs> at least right it's still weird though it's still weird hurry up guys yeah take care of your kid what she just shushed the baby <laughs> what <laughs> you cannot shush your kid he's crying because he's upset what does he need Oh, he just probably needs a bottle and some social, but they're woohooing once again. I mean, they woohooed earlier today. Well, I guess technically now it's yesterday because it's almost four in the morning. But, uh, hold on, sweetie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Give you a little snuggle. But, yeah, so they woohooed. <laughs> like I said, don't know if he's going to stay over. He doesn't have to if he doesn't want to, but... We need to take care of our kid. He's super tired. We're super tired. We're literally going to pass out in two hours. So that kind of sucks. But let's go ahead and grab our baby. <laughs> go ahead and feed him. Oh, God. So it looks like David and Haley are getting together. Oh, my God. Haley, make up your mind, girl. Make up your mind. I don't think Haley knows what she wants. Oh, I guess he is going to stay over. But the baby's crying. So probably won't be able to sleep. <laughs> How are you doing? Yep, he's doing, actually, he's doing really, really well besides that. Oh my god, the sun's gonna rise soon and we're still awake. <laughs> this is awful. But at least it's Sunday and we don't have a job anyway, so. But I was actually thinking about having Iris go back to college when Maverick is a toddler. That way we can still be with him during these baby stages. And then when he's a little bit older, we can leave him with his grandparents and go back to college and finish off with Declan. Of course, we only have one semester left and it's going to be a pretty easy semester because they both have so many credits. They're, gonna ba they're barely going to take any classes. So it'll be nice to kind of go back to finish off university so she can you know start her life basically also i was potentially thinking of pulling back iris's lifespan a little bit because she has 15 days until she ages up into an adult i don't know i'm contemplating pulling that back i would also pull back declan as well but i don't know let me know what you guys think about that if i pull her back a couple days i was thinking maybe like five days i would pull it back but we'll see i don't remember if they actually age while they're at university or not I feel like they do, but I honestly can't remember, so we'll kind of have to figure it out at that point. It looks like some of these guys are going to be waking up soon. I find it funny that he has a wish to see Declan get married, but nothing's popped up for Iris to get married. Oh, hey, well, look at that. <laughs> Just kidding. Just freaking kidding. Oh, hey, they broke up. I didn't know they were together. Oh, my God. This freaking town. Everybody's like with everybody. It's so weird. But these two apparently want to woohoo, so I guess we're, I'm going to have them woohoo when they wake up because they really want to. And I feel like it might have actually been a couple of days since they last woohooed. Surprise, surprise. But I'm going to have them have a little bit of fun. I'm going to try to, like, maintain, like, prevent them from woohooing too much as elders. I don't know if they can die from woohoo in The Sims 3, but in The Sims 4, they sure can, so... 
I don't want anything to happen to these guys before it's actually their time. So go ahead and take a shower. Hopefully she'll be up. Yeah, she'll be up here in just a second. Apparently she smells really bad, but frankly, I don't think he would care all that much. So I'm going to have y'all get it on before anybody else wakes up. God, this is weird. Okay, go ahead and woohoo with Ollie. They're so cute and old. Oh my god, I love them. They are so cute and old, I swear. So they're gonna go do whatever it is that they do. Try not to awkwardly watch. Are the kids up yet? Nope, doesn't look... Oh, oh, hey. You are awake. So, do you want to use the bathroom? Go downstairs and get something to eat. I need to do something with this cake. I need to just sell it or something. Oh, we don't have any food. That's awkward. <laughs> I'll have mom make some food when she is done cuddling with uh, with our dad. <laughs> Whenever they are done. All right, you guys are good. Everybody else is doing fantastic, though, which is really nice. Oh, and the baby's up. <laughs> The baby is awake. I know, sweetie, I know. But hey, you have a newborn baby. You have to wake up in the middle of the night to take care of him. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on. We're coming. We're coming. Snuggle and play with. There you go. <laughs> and they're woohooing. Oh my god, this is so awkward. <laughs> that's, that's awkward. That is definitely awkward. Uh, do you want to use the bathroom? Oh, hey, Nadia is going through a mood swing. Great. That is just great. But I think I am going to go ahead and wrap up this part here, guys. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Leave all your comments down below. Also, if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will speak to you all next time. Bye, guys.